Hi everyone, my name is Kristen Avalos with KristenAvalos.com, spiritual empowerment coach. And I have a video for you today of finding meaning and joy in your life. So moving from frustration and impatience to finding meaning and joy in your experiences. So if you are ready to get started, let's get going. So go ahead and take a deep breath in and breathe out. And you can even breathe out with a sigh and just give yourself permission in this moment to get comfortable and get settled. So really what we're talking about is finding meaning and joy and bringing consistency so that reaching your goals of what you want, whether it's better health, whether it's more money, more success with your business, is actually more pleasurable and a more joyous experience. And so I was inspired <clears throat> by the quote that Jessica Ortner uses in her book, Create Lasting Change. <clears throat> and she says, if it's not pleasurable, it's not sustainable. So I want you to just think for a moment, now that you're grounded and settled, and I want you to think about something that you are kind of dreading, something that you know you have to do, but you're maybe procrastinating on, or just rate the general overall frustration or dissatisfaction that you're currently feeling in general right now. And so think of something for you. If you do have a, a journal around, maybe write it down. Um, I know for me, just thinking of having to do taxes, taxes are coming up is something that I've experienced a lot of dread around and a lot of anxiety uh, among other feelings. And so give that number um, on a scale of one to 10, just maybe write that down too if you have uh, something around you. And we're gonna go ahead and get started and do some tapping. So begin on the karate chop point, which is the side of your hand. And you're going to just repeat after me, even though I have all of this frustration, I honor how I'm feeling and I choose to relax right now. Even though I'm feeling a deep sense of dread and anxiety, I am willing to accept how I feel and honor how I'm feeling. Even though I've been feeling frustrated, I've been feeling dissatisfied, and it just doesn't feel good. I accept all that I'm feeling and I choose to feel safe right now. Okay, we're gonna jump into the points and you can go at any points you want in any order, but go ahead and repeat after me. Here I am feeling all of this impatience, feeling dissatisfied, and feeling stuck. I'm not where I should be. I should be further along by now. I am not where I should be. And I'm feeling really irritated. 
I'm feeling really impatient. I feel stuck. And I've been beating myself up. I know where I want to be. And this is not the place. Even though I'm not where I want to be, I choose to feel safe right here and right now. Even though I'm feeling uncomfortable, I might even be feeling pain. There are things that are telling me I should keep going. There are things in my life that are encouraging me to change. But it just doesn't feel comfortable. And moving forward would be too hard. It would be way too difficult. It would be overwhelming. So I just choose to suffer instead. I'll just put up with it. Or I'll just allow it to go on until I reach my breaking point. Because moving forward would just be too hard. It would be uncomfortable. And I don't like being uncomfortable. But the truth is, I'm feeling really uncomfortable where I am right now. And something needs to change. But right here and right now, I am safe. Right here and right now, I am where I should be. And it's okay for me to move forward in a way that feels good. Maybe change doesn't have to be scary. Maybe change doesn't have to be overwhelming. Because right here and right now, I am choosing to take a deep breath in. Right here and right now, I can release anything that's holding me back. Because moving forward will give me a sense of lightness. And it could be easy. Moving forward doesn't have to be hard. What if it could be easy? What if it could be fun? How can I bring more pleasure into my experiences? I'll start by feeling safe now in this moment. I'll start by allowing myself to trust myself more. It is safe for me to trust myself. It is safe for me to trust that I'm supported. I'm supported by the ground beneath me. And I'm supported by a loving source that loves me unconditionally. It is safe to trust in the process. 
it is safe to take things one thing at a time. It is safe to take breaks for me to care for myself. It is safe for me to be kind to myself. I deserve the best life has to offer. I deserve to move forward with ease. And I am choosing to see any challenges as a lesson. These challenges are part of a greater story. These obstacles that I'm facing are going to be just a small dot. They'll be insignificant down the line. Or maybe they'll be a great way of moving me forward. I choose to trust in the process of life. I choose to feel good in each moment. And I am so proud of myself. I am proud of myself for each step that I'm taking. Okay, go ahead and settle in for a moment. Take a deep breath in. Breathing out with an exhale if it feels good. And I want you to just keep that in mind. Notice how you're feeling now. And notice if you feel um, go back to that number, the feeling of impatience and frustration or dissatisfaction. Go ahead and rate that number again and see if it's lowered. And it probably has because tapping is incredibly grounding. It allows you to clear anxiety and that feeling of frustration, feelings of heaviness from past experiences, it allows those to clear out. And in its place, you brought in um, a feeling of trust and a feeling of knowing that everything that you're doing, even if it just seems like so simple, like drinking water or just taking a deep breath or checking in with yourself, and just listening to your self-talk, looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, you know, I love you or thank you for all that you're doing for me. It's those small, simple actions that are actually bringing your life meaning. It's how you're showing up in each moment that is making such an incredible difference in who you are becoming and who you're growing into. So thank you so much for doing this tapping for me with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my links below. Subscribe to my news, uh, my monthly newsletter. And, um, I have a free video series below. No more holding back, transforming fear into courage and confidence. So please definitely check out um, more that I have to share with you. And thank you so much for spending this time with me and allowing me into your, uh, your day and your journey. So thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.